Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simp, and All Subjects channel. We're getting back to the Dealing with People series. Dealing with petty people. Petty people. Now, this is very important because this is most people nowadays, man. You gotta realize that people are petty, they're childish. They can be old as Methuselah and be as childish as a kindergarten. And a lot of them are. Hold grudges, petty, unappreciative, ungrateful, so on and so forth. This is why a lot of these jobs have a lot of turnover too. Because the people that will get the job done the best, it could be something that they being petty with them about. So they won't really give them a chance in the interview. Like I had an interview where they brought up my social media and I, they must have took a look at it because when they took a look at it, they sent me a letter back saying uh, that they moving with other candidates. And I look at it like this, how petty these people are. The first thing that you gotta realize about dealing with petty people is you gotta set the stage for yourself where you don't need them. Set the stage for yourself where you don't need them. You shouldn't have to ask somebody that's being petty with you for anything or to do anything. If you know they're petty, then you have to figure out ways not to include them. That's the next thing, figure out ways not to include them. They're petty. They're not gonna benefit you. They're gonna bring negative energy. I don't care what they can, it could be your own mama, it could be your wife, it could be your sister. If women are watching, it could be your husband, your brother. If they being petty with you, no matter what you think, they not gonna benefit you. Next thing, you gotta understand that petty people do not provide convenience for you. They're petty. So somehow, if you leaning on them for anything, whether it's a petty childish wife for sex or for this or for that, or a petty parent, or a petty supervisor, they not going, you, you, you got to get yourself to the point where you don't need them. This is why I say, even if you're a job working person, you should always have side hustles. Because you should never give petty people permanent place in your life. Think about it like this. A person that's never happy, that's a petty person. So, if you got a person that's always, and, I, and I'm not saying we shouldn't be there for people that's down, sad, and stuff like that. But, if they always like that, you know they petty. And if you listen carefully, they petty with people they shouldn't be petty with. So, if you like an outsider looking in, you already know they're going to be petty with you. If they don't get along with their siblings or their spouse or somebody else of significance, what make you think they're going to get along with you, man? Think about it, man. So, you know, you got to, again, you got to figure out ways not to need them or include them. You have to realize what you're dealing with. A petty person is deceptively one of the worst type of people, man. I'm telling you. You know, a petty person. And this dealing with people series, we're going we gonna to touch everything. We're going to touch every surface. Even when it comes to driving, right? You got to watch out for these petty people. That's the next thing. Watch out for them. Don't trust them. They're petty. They'll, they'll kill you out here on this road. Because they're petty. You put your signal on, they ignore it. These are the people that ignore your signal don't let you off. These are the people that cut you off. These are the people that flip you off. They petty. 
petty people will have you in jail. So the next thing is you got to keep your temperament mild and, and keep your temperament with these petty people. You can't go around fighting and shooting everybody. You just got to, if you know, like for instance, I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Those of you that watch me, you already know. Milwaukee, there's good people here, a lot of them. Don't get me wrong. But there's also a lot of petty people that'll throw their life away or throw yours away in the blink of an eye. Petty people have drug addictions. So giving money to a petty person, always trying to be, uh, help a petty person, the minute you don't help them, they ain't going to appreciate all the help you did. So everything you do for them should be what you want to do. Don't feel obligated with petty people. They're petty. Let me give you an example. You ever seen the person that you don't even know them, but they heard about you and they acting funny towards you and they don't even know you? How many of y'all have that happened to? When I went back to the old facility I was at, one of the new supervisors, I never met her. But it's like, she act like she ain't want to shake my hand. Like, I said, I knew right away, yeah, she gonna be a problem. I knew it. She had a problem with me before she even met me. Cause she's petty. Petty, petty people, no matter what you bring to the table, they're petty, so it's not going to be enough. So, again, I can't say this enough times. Try to make it where you don't have to be around these people. Like, another example. The fireworks is tonight. I want to take my kids to the fireworks right now. Watch this. Watch this. Just go hand in hand. What I'm saying. It's confusing which one to go to and I'm going to tell you why. If I go to the lakefront, that's where all them wannabe thugs, petty, fake men, because real men don't go around starting stuff with people. That ain't no real man. Real men don't start drama. Y'all wasn't raised right, man. Y'all ain't been around real men. See, my father, my father was mild mannered. And my father was one of the least petty people of all time. Now check this out. My mother's oldest sister was always petty with him. I noticed that. Now let me show you something. One time she even threw a drink in her face. We was too young. She lucky she ain't do that while we was older. Cause I ain't care if she was my aunt. That I wouldn't have been too happy about that. And it's like he didn't even really do nothing. I think he might have tapped her on the shoulder. But my father wasn't petty like that. He wasn't a petty guy. So it's like it kind of hindered him that he was so not petty. Like you don't want to be petty, but you, you want to have like a line. You'd be like, all right, don't cross this line. So, after he passed away, recently my sister found all these pictures that they was taking him of my father. I'm like, if you liked him to take all these pictures, why you always was petty when people is weird, man? People weird, man. I'm telling you, like, that's why on the job, if you know them people is petty. Don't don't tell them none of your business. Like if you work in corrections or police or anything dealing with criminals, you already know this. Don't tell them none of your business. Don't talk about anything personal. Religion. Now dating. Add this red pill stuff. Don't be telling them you red pill and, and you modern women 304, all this stuff. Don't talk about that at work. Get your money. They petty. They're not going to be able to handle it. If you're dealing with petty people, you know not to talk about this stuff at work. So, 
Next thing. Well, let me finish telling the story, though. Let me finish telling. So, my father was not petty at all. But people was always being petty with him. Well, I can't say at all. He did some stuff that was kind of petty. But out of, in comparison to other people, he wasn't that petty. So, his brothers, like, they used to meet up and stuff like that. Like, before he died. And his brothers, like, I could tell they deeply hurt with his passing because... The thing about being petty with people, you never know what's going to happen. You never know when they're going to be gone. And it's going to eat at you. Like, I can think of a couple situations where I was being petty. And it, it didn't go well. Like, it just didn't. Like, I was being petty. You know? Even sometimes in your dating life, you be petty with one person, then you get with another person, and then that person end up being petty with you. And you done dump the non-petty one. That's why next thing, make sure you ain't petty. You know how it felt when people treated you like that. Don't treat other people like that. So... When you're dealing with petty people, just if you got to go back and rewind, just go back and rewind the things I told you. I'm going to give you a little more. But do not argue with petty people. Don't argue with them. If you don't agree with them, you know they're petty. They're going to take it to a whole extra mile. Don't argue with them. If you out on the street... Again, man, I hate when I... Don't y'all hate content creators? Don't you hate when you got to sneeze during the video? I don't care. I'll sneeze. But you know they petty, so do not argue with them. Do not argue. These are the women that when you divorce them, they're going to bring up your text messages to try to benefit themselves because they petty. They don't care about you like that. They care about themselves. This is why we tell people that you might want to reconsider this marriage thing. Because people nowadays are too freaking petty for marriage. Okay, let me let me tell y'all what well, you know, I'm gonna keep that to myself. You know these thugs out here is petty. Do not, if you don't gotta go where they you know what stores they be at. You know which Walmart they be at? Like, we got a store in this area called Midtown. It's Midtown is pick and save, right? The smarter people don't go there. Here's why. Because in there, that's where a lot of petty, messy people go. Like, for instance, the store I go to, it's a couple petty people that work there. But the customers ain't petty. The customers be doing their thing, minding their own business, mellow, mild-tempered. But Midtown? Oh, excuse me, man. Man, you skipping. Man, watch out, man. Unless you want to fight and you want to get shot up in here. That's the type of people being there. You see how that can escalate? Because a person like me, do it. You in a little, little situation. If you shoot me in front of all these people, you going to prison. If I shoot you, you dying and you going to burn in hell. Why? Why would I deal with that? When I could just go to a nice, clean, suburban store and be done with it. You see what I'm saying? People skip. You skip. I'm going to let you know about it. You think because you with your boy saying so. But why would I, if I can choose and possibly avoid that, why would I go to that store? Like I was, I told y'all this story. I was in the store. Older dude. He was older than me. Probably in his 50s or early 60s. 
these guys and, and acting weird like they stealing or doing something, right? One right here, one right here, one right here. He looking at him like he watching his back. The dude going to say, you good? You good? Man, I smacked the S out of it. This an older man. They don't respect older people, man. We was thugged out when we respect our, respected our elders. And we wasn't petty. Like, we wasn't petty. Like, it was many times. Guys that talk other guys. Hey, man, don't do that, man. It's not, he's not even worth it. Ready to shoot people. These guys, man, pop that nigga, man. Then they get in court. Well, I didn't do it. Uh, he did it. You told him to do it. Petty. Petty. That's why this music, all this music, this negative music is so popular. Because these people is that petty. Petty. All these women. You got to mess with the one. Man, I ain't worried about your man. I'll pop that nigga. Petty. Petty, 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 petty. Petty. You got to avoid them if you can. Avoid them if you can. So he told him that he had smacked him. I'm like, I went right to my car. Because I had my gun in my pocket, but it wasn't cocked. So I went right to my car, cocked my pistol, put one in the chamber, and came back in the store. And didn't say nothing to nobody. I knew they was petty. I get mad, like, wired, like, when I'm in the suburb, and I see these dudes coming out there with all that wild, loud, acting like they want to start something, I'll be like, you are a freaking coward. You scared to be in the hood because you know they'll fan you down in that hood. You want to be out here bullying white people, people in the suburbs, and scaring them. You're a freaking coward. Take that stuff back to the hood. That's what I be thinking like, pet, but they're too petty for it. So I think I gave you enough on that one. This is The Truth Man. More videos to come. You already know. Pause. So stay tuned.